Well, hello, good people. In a previous video, I showed you how to create this XY plot for both SDXL and Flux. And in that video, I said that if you're not going to use the all-in-one models, you can load the unit or guff version loaders and everything should be fine. Well, that's actually not true. If you take a look at the workflow here, I have the unit loaders for the model, dual clip VAE, empty latent image. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now everything may seem fine. We see the green around the sampler until this happens. And shout out to our community member on Discord, Klaninka, for pointing it out to me. And I found it really strange, so I set mine up and came across the same error. And it turns out it's the empty latent. So what you want to do to correct this is get rid of this empty latent and then double click. We're going to type in SD3 empty and use this empty latent node. And then we just need to connect it back to the sampler. And then I'm going to run this once again. Now we see the image being generated through the sampler. So everything looks great. And there you go. Problem solved. Now I did just a simple two image grid, but you get the point. Now the other thing I mentioned that I was getting errors when I was doing an XY grid for checkpoints. The other thing I want to point out is that you can do the same thing with checkpoints for SDXL, but checkpoints for Flux doing it this way pulls up errors at the moment. I'm not sure why that is. And this also solves that. So you can go into the advanced XY plot now and in the drop down, you'll see an area for low diffusion model. If you're using guff versions, you'll see the unit version here and you just have to select the model that you want to compare in your XY grid. The other thing I wanted to mention that our community member also brought up is that when you're doing a comparison with LoRa's and you want to insert a trigger word, you could use positive conditioning within here as well. So you would just have to click on the area, go under tiny conditioning, and then you'll see positive string. And then you would replace string with that trigger word. Okay. So I wanted to just clear that up. Now, if this is the first time watching and you want to know how to set up the XY grid, make sure to check out this video because I've already covered it. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.